What's up guys, it is Lon from Variety Gaming 101 bringing you a very special video. So today, well not today, it was two days ago, uh, I wanted to, what I wanted to talk to you about guys today is the new CSGO Scheme Gambling update. I was just talking in my last video about how gambling seems to be returning because a lot of people's sites have been coming back up because they might be getting licenses, but that does not appear, appear to be the case. So I've seen a video or two on this already, but I thought I'd bring it to you guys as I do, I uh, used to a lot, make a lot of CSGO gambling videos. So. Uh, here is the, the main line here. The Washington State Gambling Commission says Valve could face criminal pel penalties if it doesn't pull the plug. Well, let's take a look at this. Let's think about this for a second. First off, Steam is based, based off of, or uh, is located rather, in Washington State. So they, uh, they are definitely uh, affected by this. So here's the original story. I will link this in the description for you guys to read. So, um,. Basically, they have to stop gambling in any way possible because it is like it's it's a criminal offense now if you if people are if like they don't uh, do something about it because there's so much underage stuff and all that. So it says that they have to stop it in any way possible. So this is what I'm thinking. Some people have said that it might be the end of trading because Steam Trade API will be like no longer be a thing. But what I think it might be is they might just ban the use of bots because right now the Steam API can power bots with the Steam Bot API which is developed by, I don't remember his name, but uh, it's somebody. So maybe they'll just stop that so bots won't be a thing anymore because that's what the trade, like there's there's no way sites are going to, you know, constantly accept trades with, uh, you know, manually. It would take, like if people, if there's a thousand people on a website, you need to have even more people, you know, watching all the trades or, living, or close at least. So what I'm thinking is, I don't even know, like this is a lot to take in here. So... I don't see a problem with people playing on the sites. Like if you're if you're above a, like a, you know of age and you're probably I don't know if you're located I'm not located in the states so it's probably different. But if I, if you're outside of the states, I'd say I don't see a problem with you playing on these websites. Nothing's probably going to happen to you. But if you own one of these websites, something's definitely could happen to you. You could it could be a lawsuit and like if if you don't stop or shut down your site when you're told to, because Valve sent out a letter to over 40 sites apparently telling them to shut down. So. Yeah, I, I owned a website for quite some time, but as soon as they uh, they said that it's against the terms of service, I shut her down. <laughs> so this is pretty big news. Like a lot of a lot of bad things could happen here. So what I'm thinking is that skins are going to be seriously devalued even more. Like when Cisco Gambling got banned, and then people were still doing their sites, the skins got devalued quite a bit. So I'm thinking they're going to get devalued even more because gambling is really what uh, uh, people say that. Uh, CSGO skins don't make CSGO and CSGO is still an awesome game regardless and yeah I agree it is but sadly CSGO skins are what made the game popular like I, like a lot of people are going to argue with that point but uh, the skins are what pretty much saved CSGO because it wouldn't be the second most popular game on Steam if you know if it uh, didn't have the skins because it, it creates an economy and keep, it gets people to keep coming back trading the gambling like it really did, like, if you look at the numbers and the stats of, like, when, bef before the arms deal update, the game was not even close to as popular as it is now. And even with the, uh, the reason the tournaments are so popular or were is because you can, on CSGO Lounge, you could bet on the matches, and that was huge, right? Betting on matches, so. You can do it with cash, I'm pretty sure it's now still on, like, certain sites, but you can't do it with skins. So. That's my two cents, guys. I think, uh, if you're owning a gambling site, you should definitely pull out now, especially if you reside in the United States, because something could happen to you. So yeah, I don't know what Valve's going to do. Tell me what you guys think in the comments. What do you think Valve's going to do about this? I'm I'm happy to hear your opinions. I want to hear uh, what you guys think of this. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you had a good day, and uh, have a good rest of the good rest of the day. Thanks for watching. Peace.